So now we're going to be exploring the main treatment for kidney failure, and that is dialysis. Dialysis simply refers to a filtration system, which aims to filter blood and perform the functions of the kidney. This can be outside the body, as you can see here with hemodialysis, or it can happen inside the body, as you see with peritoneal dialysis later. Here you can see a woman on dialysis. Before she gets hooked up to dialysis, she would have had a surgery which connects an artery to a vein. This is called an arteriovenous fistula. The vein supplies the volume of blood and the artery supplies the high pressure so that her entire circulatory system moves out through these tubings and back into her body within a span of five hours. You can see a schematic diagram here. Now the key is to understand that blood must move through a semi-permeable membrane. Recall the glomerulus is a semi-permeable capillary network, and this is exactly what we're aiming to model with dialysis and with the dialysis tubing here. So in hemodialysis, the filtration system is outside the body. Blood moves out via this semi-permeable dialysis tubing, and it moves into the dialysis fluid. It is so important to understand this is where filtration happens. The dialysis solution has all your ions in their ideal concentration with no waste products, so no urea. This is important as it allows the urea to diffuse out passively into the solution, whereas ions that are at low concentration in the blood may move into the blood, and ions that are in a high concentration in the blood may follow their concentration gradient and move out of the blood. Recall this is semi-permeable because red blood cells are too large to move out of the dialysis tubing. This is also the case for large proteins, so we're modeling the glomerular capillary network here. As you can see, all the waste dialysis fluid is always recycled out and replaced with new clean dialysis fluid. And the image here just represents the semi-permeable nature of dialysis tubing. You can see the red blood cells remaining in the tubing and ions that are at a high concentration here, such as waste products and possibly potassium ions, may diffuse passively out of the dialysis tubing into the, the dialysis fluid. And this allows for the filtration of blood. Now, a very important point to note is this is all entirely a passive process, meaning the transport of ions in and out of the dialysis tubing requires no energy and it ceases when there are equal concentrations in the dialysis tubing and out of the dialysis tubing. And that is our summary of hemodialysis.